hello 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 welcome back to my channel lovely moments creating if you are new here come on in and join the family all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and remember the notification bell because that way you'll be reminded every time I upload a video my name is Jenny and on this channel I create lovely DIYs using mostly items that I find at the Dollar Tree I try to keep all of my DIYs budget friendly but easy to do so if you want to see some of my creations then keep watching hello my friends I hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend I am actually doing some things around the home this weekend and I finally got a chance to put together this bookshelf I've been meaning to assemble for a while now and I need some decor for the top of it and so I am going to create some high-end looking decor using Dollar Tree items I picked up three of these bamboo reefs from the Dollar Tree and I have two large ones and one small one I also will be using some of these blooming branches that I purchased from the Dollar Tree as well and I have five bunches of those but I will be cutting these off of the bunches so I'll be cutting each little stem off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get those stems cut off and so now all I have to do this is really simple so it won't take long I'm just going to add these stems straight into the bamboo reef and I'm not going to add any glue or anything because once you get them inside, they, they're they there. So I'm just going to add them to the bottom of each one of the reefs. While I was picking these blooming branches up from the Dollar Tree, I did notice that they also have the longer stem branches so I picked up a couple of those too for a future DIY and so this is how they look and I'm just going to kind of bend them and straighten them out a little bit and then I'm just going to move on to the next reef and so now that I have completed very simple and easy and I have completed all three of these I like how they turned out and I'm going to add these right above that bookshelf and I'm going to get started on the second DIY and so for this DIY I'll be using two of these little tinted candle holders from the Dollar Tree and I have two of those round wood pieces that the Dollar Tree sell as well and I picked up some of those little branches that they sell and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two wooden round pieces and I'm just going to go over them with my wax color chart paint and so now that they have been painted I'm going to take these two glass candle holders and I'm going to glue them to the center of these little round wood pieces I've been meaning to create these candles for a while now. I actually had a DIY where I created two of these small candle holders and then I created a taller one in for the center of the two smaller ones. But for today, I'm just creating the small ones. And then in a later DIY video, I will be creating a larger version of these candle holders to go with some other decor. And so now that I have completed that step, I'm now going to go in and glue my little branches down to the round wood piece. And I'm just going to add glue to the end of them and just go around, completely around the entire little wood piece. These branches are all different sizes, but it, it doesn't matter. Once you get them all around, it's still going to have the same look. So you can use the whole pack. And to complete both of these candle holders I did use the entire pack I think there was only like maybe two or three of them left and so as you can see I'm just going right around the vase attaching the little pieces to the little round wood
I really like these candle holders. I think they have a nice little high-end look to them. And as you can see how it turned out, like I said, they all are different sizes, but it still looks great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the same step and finish the second candle holder. And now I have both of these candle holders completed. I love these. I am in love with these. All I have to do now is add some candles and then I'm going to add these to my bookshelf. I'm going to get started on the last DIY for today and what I'll be using is I have four bunches of these long stem florals and I'm removing the extra greenery that's at the bottom. So all I have to do is like pull off the stem and then I'm going to remove the greenery because I don't want those attached and so I'm just removing those last ones and attaching it right back and so also for this DIY I'll be using one of these Dollar Tree vases and I didn't realize that the Dollar Tree sells some of the cutest little eyeglass cords so I did pick up a few of these I just wanted to show you this one design I think it's like a little floral piece but for today I'll be using this little hanging heart I think these are so cute and you can do so many look cute different DIYs with these and I'm going to tint the vase with some of this wax chalk paint and so that's what I'm going to do first and I'm just going to give it a light coat just to get it a little tint and then to do a little heavy in some parts of it and so now that I have completed that I'm now just going to attach my little hanging heart and I'm just going to go around the top of the vase and tack it down with some of my hot glue and then basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to cross over the cords and flip it back to the front just like that and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to cross it over in the front and I'm going to flip it back to the back and then I'm going to do this step one more time until my hanging heart is in the front and I just want it to hang right down in the center of this vase just like that and that's how it's going to look I'm just going to go in and tack down the cord a little bit with a little bit more extra glue and now that that's complete all I have to do is add my floral pieces to the vase And so now I'm going to add the vase to the bookshelf with the other DIYs I created today. And this is how they all look together. I really love these candle holders. They look so high end. I like how this turned out. And I do love this vase with this little hanging heart. That is so cute. And these wreaths, they were simple to make, but they have a really nice look to them. And all of these DIYs to me look great together. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video just as much as I did. And as always, in the comment box down below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. I like them all. I think they all look great together. And I will be recreating these candle holders because I will be redoing my bedroom soon and I think these will look great with the decor style that I'll be going with and these will look nice on my nightstands so I'm excited to be doing that project and all of the things I'll be making for my bedroom I definitely will be sharing with you guys and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video and as always if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel and remember the notification bell because that way you'll be reminded every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much again and remember to stay safe and I will see you in the next video.